what's up what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy modin and i'm back again with another entertainment news update right here for you the title for today black rasta is negative for the music industry for the ghana music industry and here is why uh before we dive into it pardon me my voice i have a problem with it and i'm still trying to heal but um i still want to create for you guys because this thing has just been on my mind uh, for some days now but uh, i just couldn't sleep and i decided that let me write a few things and then pour out my heart to you like we do on this channel and so uh, let me know as always in the comment section let's talk about it let's try to make this place um, a good space for such communications etc um in the end try to put a uh, try to put a positive spin on uh, the entertainment imagery of Ghana in a good way. So um, before I start, this is in no form or shape a disrespect to the person of Black Rasta. Rather, my observation slash opinion uh, with regards to the to our alien industry, right? And so uh, without much ado, uh, let's get straight into it. Uh, we've seen what has been happening with regards to Black Rasta in the entertainment scene. Uh, starting off with um, the attacks on Sarko, the, uh, um I mean, everyone is allowed to criticize, right? But it felt more of an attack. And uh, why uh, is it more of an attack? Because recently he even went ahead to write a tweet where he mentioned uh, the kids of uh, Bob Marley and trying to question them on why they would feature or disrespect their father with a feature that uh, would suck or dear, you know. And so uh, here is where I come in. Um, the people who can uphold the industry and create the needed respect to govern it are the artists, right? For someone like Black Rasta, when you have uh, an issue or what you pour out from your heart, concerning the entertainment industry is what the fans will take because at the end of it all they are not in there with you you know that artistry space we the fans we the people who love what you guys do and are trying to also help in our small ways we are not there with you guys and so you are the ones selling that image to us and so if you sell negativity guess what that is exactly what will be sold out also to the rest of the world and in the digital media space right now things just fly off the shelves and especially in ghana negativity is the fastest selling right and so i think um the artists themselves the acts those who make up the industry the video directors the musicians the beat makers uh the journalists everyone who is connected in a way to the act coming up and doing things these are the people that actually have to uh, create that needed respect in order for the fan bases and other people to to abide by it and go with it in a good way my second point would be that we've had uh I've, i just jotted the things i scripted the things on my phone so i'm just trying to read a few points just out and i'll add my own uh so we've had music fanatics bloggers tag foreign artists and influencers to discourage them from working with our acts uh, just because of their beliefs or slash dislike for them uh, and unfortunately black rasta has joined that thing we all remember um when i mean some artists will, will feature or would 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 do something and then you see bloggers writing secret emails to uh, either twitter or grammy to question them on uh, does this artist qualify for this? Does it, you know, all those are bunches, etc. But for an artist to come on board and actually showcase that level of, um, I don't know which word to use, but level of ignorance, so to say, you know, um, it leads me to my third point where I'm saying that our industry is broken from within. Now, uh, here's why a pool of acts right uh network to foster better relationships overall share experiences build each other and critique their own works on a more professional level right so in the music industry 
all these people come together and they get to know each other and they cross their path you know they cross each other's paths all the time and so it is only beautiful that whatever problem is had within the fraternity will be solved within it you know because what is the essence of the networking it is such that sarkodie has the contact to black rasta black rasta has the contact to all someone close and can say hey this thing that you guys did let me give you a more professional critique um this is what maybe needs to be done because black rasta you are a reggae artist so an advice from black rasta to sarkodie on a reggae song will mean a lot but on a personal level not in public you know in public there is a way you can even speak to galvanize support from the fans you know in a way so that um when that positivity is coming out from you as a reggae artist it will change the mindsets of the fans who are ready to to throw all the time etc you know and these are some of the issues that i have with um people like black rasta black rasta for a long time has been very positive uh especially when it comes to the education he gives some politics and um uh our history etc and some great things that he shares on his taxi driver show amazing but you know um in the music space you understand it's like you are no longer a musician or you are still a musician but you do other things and I'll compare it to Kwame A plus right so Kwame A plus we know did music for a long time and then he stopped and um currently he's into politics and business right but pay attention to Kwame A plus anytime he speaks on any issue he goes uh, he speaks in a way in a different way right he criticizes the act but protects their integrity or tries to protect their reputation right it is it is very very important and you can see his recent utterance on uh, the sakode samini saga right if you paid attention to the utv uh, conversation they had the way black rust uh, i said black rust excuse my language um Kwame A plus spoke about some of the things that you criticize the people without making them look bad because they have a brand uh, they are protecting as well right they built a brand and in Ghana to build a brand is not easy especially with less support and etc things coming in there it's a bit tough but these are some of the issues um let's try to maintain the balance you know if you are a creative like Black Rasta himself you don't look at uh, i don't expect you to look at your immediate gains because you are a musician at heart and that also means that creatively musicians are weird and you would like to protect that legacy for the future ones right and so uh, anything that comes out of your mouth now in the public because of public record digital media etc should be one that is encouraging so that uh it can attract investors for the future musicians but it looks like most of the guys now are just doing things to tarnish the entire industry's image in a way that doesn't sit well for the future of Ghana music you know which is very bad in this case um and then we have with this type of negativity then we have a never ending spiral effect uh, of negative news for bloggers with no real regard for the image of the industry the country rather what puts food on their table you know uh the country had yes we know but a lot of the times um if we don't uh, scrutinize what we put out there you know there is no real training for who becomes a blogger who doesn't now it is everything is available if you are ready to hustle you can do it you get it and so um from people like black rasta with all due respect these are some of the things that needs to be checked and done well you know so right now my question will be that what makes black rasta who is a musician and an industry stalwart different from the average blogger or fan with no real knowledge of the industry or music if you are doing the same things the fans will be doing what is the difference you know um this is all i would want to say let me know your thoughts in the comment section my name will forever remain muddy and like i always say on this channel it's all about positivity if anybody comes to you with a negative vibe turn around with a smile and say peace out